Marina from Say Something Crafty. I am here to do a share with you. These are my um, Tree of Life tomes. And I made, I made two of them. These are also a Butterbee Scraps Design Team project. I uh, wanted to do some more, but I don't have enough time. So I'm trying to get these uh, recorded so you guys can see them. So I did something different than I've ever done before. And hold on, hold on. Sorry, my daughter's going to be grabbing everything. Um, I did something that, different than I usually do. And I made a faux leather cover, but I made like this tree sculpture thingy beneath. It's weird, but it's really cool. Um, I really like how it turned out. It was really hard to get this uh, faux leather to stay down the way I want it to because this one is super soft and this one's a little bit rougher. So yeah, it's rougher, huh? This one's soft. Feel that one? Yeah. Okay, so I used a bunch of different stuff from Butterbee Scrap Store. I used some of these ones and I'll have them listed below. I used some of the bells. A key. Yeah. Actually, I actually used two keys. Uh, the second key, I yeah, I think that's yeah, it's this one right here. I used these ones right here, and then the book corners and some silver bells. So put those aside so I can tuck them in later. But anyway, which one should I start with? This one or this one? This one? Okay, good choice. That right there. Okay, so. I have a closure for this one. It's just tied with some seam binding and this uh, key that wraps around this uh, doorknob here that I got from Butterbee Scraps is a uh, seam binding and I have some sorry ribbon here but this you can actually, I made it so that it's only tied once so that if the book gets larger then the recipient can go ahead and untie it and make it a little looser. So it has a ribbed spine That's the back. I'm just going to go ahead and go inside and do a quick flip through. There's not anything in here besides different papers and coffee dyed paper and I distressed the edges and I also colored the edges. This one is in antique silver and the other one is in antique gold. Oh, hold on, let's go back this way. So it's got pockets in here. This could be a uh, book of shadows. It can be a junk journal. It can be... Um, any kind of journal really but yeah I spent a lot of time on these and I hope you guys like them I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm going through them so fast I don't feel like I'm doing them justice it's just I don't have a lot of time and my battery is gonna die soon so hey hold on let me get this one let me open it there we go and so it's got pockets it's got uh, envelopes in the center of some of the signatures here's a pocket here and I have a bunch of different types of papers in here. Another pocket. Oh. Let me turn there. And then some more coffee dyed pages. There's, it is very flexible. <laughs> it's very um, durable too, I'm sure. And pocket back here. And that is the back. I'm really sorry if you guys are unsatisfied with the video flip through let me know and I will do a more in-depth flip through but I just want to get these done real quick I love this I love the bells on this like the bells the silver bells are bigger ones I haven't used these before so put this aside we want to look through this one this has another ribbed spine and this journal is softer than the other one and then I have a key here I love this key and this key actually if you pull this if you pull it you can pull it out and take the key off. So it's just this charm here with the bells. And I put a filigree that I changed the color on. Let's not play with that. And then I have a, I don't know what this is called, but that's on there. I also distressed and uh, color, or sorry, put some gold on the edges of the distress here. I wanted it. I did this on purpose. I've never done a journal this way before where the paper is just big, bigger than the book, but I love how it looks. It looks older and I like it. I that that's the look I wanted. So, uh, I really like it. And so this is the inside of this one. Yeah, move this so I'm in frame. 
my desk is a mess. I need to clean up this room. It's just, again, I don't have time. So, do a quick flip through for this one, too. Uh, yeah. Can you say hi to everybody? Say hi. Hi. There you go. <laughs> so, again, there's some envelopes in the middle of a couple of the signatures. And different papers, different sizes. Thank you. And just some coffee dyed deli paper. Um, okay. I'm not going to look at this one? Okay. I'm turn the page on that. <laughs> Thank you. She's like, yep, we're moving along. <laughs> Thank you. And. Are you helping mommy? Thank you so much. You are so helpful. She always wants to be in here with me, so uh, I thought she might like to flip through this with me. There's still some paper on here from when I was just dressing. I just got to get that off. But this journal, like I said, it's really soft, and if it looks really leathery on camera, it's not. It's like, oh, it's really soft. I don't even know what to describe this as. <laughs> Is your finger in there? And then this one, it's it's not rough. It's just, compared to this, it's rough, yeah. But it's not, like, unpleasant. I like it. <coughs> Can you say thank you? Me. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, you guys, for stopping by to take a look at my videos. I hope you guys enjoyed the flip through. I'm sorry that <laughs> it's super slow. Um, but I will have the products that I used uh, in the description box. I also have a link to Butterbee Scrap Store so you can check out her stuff. And if you'd like a few tips on how to alter some metal pieces, I'll have a link for that below as well. Anyway, I hope you're all doing fine. And, or great, actually, hope you're all doing great. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.